There's one nasty, mean, and surprisingly familiar face blocking our path to the Ur Tree in Lindale, and it's time to take him down. I'm Jamie Latour, and this is how to defeat Morgoth, the Omen King in Elden Ring. Hey, that rhymed. Alright, so at this point, you've gotten through Lindale, defeated Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, and reached the Queen's Bedchamber Site of Grace. It's now time to head forward up these stairs, and before you go into the boss arena, you'll find a summoning sign for Melina. I guess she's tired of periodically visiting us at Sites of Grace, and she's ready to throw some hands. Head into the boss arena to hear the dulcet tones of Margit's voice, or Morgoth, a Apparently, as Margit and Morgoth are the same person. First of all, didn't we kill you at Stormville Castle? How are you alive? Second of all, you are terrible at names, Morgoth. After the initial cutscene where he badmouths all of the other demigods and turns his walking stick into a weird prism sword, the fight begins. Morgoth has a few of his old market moves, such as the Big Holy Hammer and the Holy Daggers, along with various awkward and quick melee attack combos. But he's also got some new stuff, such as a big old Holy Spear that he'll either throw at you or try to stab you with, and a storm of Holy Swords that will rain down on you from above. He's also got some bloody attacks, such as this bloody slash that leaves a red trail that explodes, and a grab attack where he stabs you with his weapon and then flings you down onto the ground. Kind of disrespectful. Once his health is down to about 50%, he'll start coughing violently. That's your cue to get away from him, as that means he's about to unleash a splashy explosive AoE attack. For most of his melee attacks, you're going to want to dodge to the side. When he's got the big hammer out, keep your distance from him. Dodge through his projectile attacks, and the sword rain appears to fall in an X pattern. So watch where the swords are falling, and stay in the spaces without rain to avoid taking damage. As for his stab and grab attack, you'll want to dodge through that instead of away from it to avoid being skewered as that move has quite a reach on it. If you're a close range melee fighter, you're going to want to use a weapon that does slash damage and or inflicts the frostbite or bleed status. As for ranged fighters, using your best sorceries will melt Morgoth's health, but since he's so quick, he can catch up to you before you can even pop off your spells. Summoning Melina or a tanky spirit ash is a good way to keep the pressure off of you while you blast him with magic. Since Morgoth and Margit are the same person, that means that the Margit Shackle item will still stun him for a short duration the same way it did back at Stormville. You could use the Shackle twice during the first portion of this boss fight. Keep slashing, frosting, bleeding, and shackling Morgoth, and you should be able to dethrone this king. Once he's dead, you'll receive his great rune and the remembrance of the Omen King. Then you can head up to the Ur Tree to finally beat this game and nope. Turns out that the Ur Tree is currently not accepting visitors as thorns will block your way inside. So head back and you'll find a site of grace that you can now touch. Rest at it, and Melina will appear to tell you that the only way forward in your quest to become Elden Lord is to burn this tree to the ground. Arson, eh? Now we're talking my language. She'll tell you that you need to head to the snowy mountaintops of the Giants region, and will hand you the rolled medallion that will help you get there. A red mark on your map will indicate where you need to go next, and before you leave here, you can have a quick chat with the shriveled up and nearly dead Morgoth who gets to insult you one last time. Aww, he died the way that he lived. As a douche. From here, we gotta head to that red mark. So warp to the Avenue Balcony site of Grace and run all the way down to the other end of the street to reach these big doors that you could push open. There's a bunch of misbegotten enemies around here, including some tough misbegotten warriors. However, you can pretty much just avoid everyone and run up this way to get to an elevator. Pull the lever and you'll be taken up 
to the path to the Divine Tower of East Altus. Fight some soldiers, and on this corpse you can pick up the Flame Drake Talisman plus one. Kill this guy on a horse, and continue on. Once you get inside this building, you'll see this elevator, but ignore that for now, and go through here. Oh look, a single soldier? Well this should be nice and easy, and oh that can't be good. Yes, suddenly you'll be in a very dark shadowy area with a corpse with an item on it. Pick up the item, and you'll see that there's one more random boss fight here in Lindell. Although it's not too tough. You'll have to fight a pair of these fell omen enemies that you may have encountered in various spots around the world, such as the area near the abandoned coffin site of Grace in the Altus Plateau, or the subterranean shunning grounds. These guys hit hard and have some projectile attacks that you should watch out for, but they're pretty slow and easy to hit. This is a big open area for you to fight in, so you should be able to lure one of these twins away from the other to make this fight a lot easier. Once both of these twins are dead, you'll receive the Omen Killer Rolo Spirit Ashes and can continue on to the Divine Tower of East Altus. It's the same procedure here as it is with most of the other Divine Towers. Open the doors, go up the elevator, and you'll reach some creepy fingers that will let you activate the power of Morgoth's Rune, which which will just raise your maximum HP when activated. Boy, that's underwhelming. Then leave the tower and head back to that building with the elevator, take the elevator down, and you'll now be in the foggy Forbidden Lands, which will lead you to the grand lift of Rold that will take you up to the mountaintops of the Giants. Sure hope you packed some warm socks. For more Elden Ring news and guides, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.